What's up everybody? This is Charlie McCoy. I'm over here at the hotel. I can't believe what I'm doing over here. Just got off the elevator. See all my shit. Make sure I got all this stuff in here. Alright, so you see the 50 pounds. Got all that 75 pounds ab machine. Uh, let me see what I got it on so y'all can see. So, basically, uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to a friend of mine, Miss Fraser. Um, she dabbles in the business, and the cool thing is, is she understands behind the grind in Hollywood, and she went on a business trip for a week. So guess what? She allowed me to stay at a hotel for a week. I know it's kind of funny, right? It's like you're looking at a dark face and then you just hear the voice. How about that? No, just kidding. But yeah, so, so let me stay for a week. So I'm bringing up my workout equipment from my, you know, my moving apartment, my Escalade. And I got the hotel room for a week. So you know what I'm gonna do for a week? I'm asleep. Now, I just finished my 100 page uh, Bane Legacy book. Uh, the end is a new beginning. So you have the 30 page one, you got the 50 page one, then you got the 100 page one. So go to blurb.com, type in Bane Legacy Apocalypse, and it should pop up. Please read. A lot of people aren't reading. They're asking me instead of just reading because I put everything in the heading. And when you buy the book, it tells you. So uh, purchase the book, man. Uh, you know, I put in some serious work. And uh, Carl Meter, that brother bought a book, I'm gonna sign it. Uh, Jundo, another brother who bought the book. Eric Moran, another brother who bought my book. So these brothers aren't talking about it, they're actually doing it. They're not even saying what they're gonna do. They just, they, they hit me up and say, hey, we got your book. So, oh, that's the run. Beautiful, huh? Got my bike, see my bike over there? So, great, come in. So seven days of rest and peace. Um, and I'll be showing you guys, you know, I got my little turntable, so you're probably like, what the hell is that? Um, ugh, my God. I got the 70 pound beast, well, 75 pounds. You hear them joints when they hit the floor. Them boys is no joke. So those, I'll show you what those are for. Ugh, my gosh, I'm getting too old for this. Uh, got my 50 pounders after lifting 75 pounds. 50 pounds is like, why? It's too easy. Um, so, um, once again, I'm grateful to her for letting me use her uh, hotel. Because she didn't have to do that, and she did. Um, that's very um, trusting of her which uh, people like that are hard to find. So I'm blessed once again. So I'm here at the hotel. So I'm gonna get it in, get my workout in. Wow, it's bright now. From no light to all light. Let there be light. And there was. But I'm here. So behind the grind, get ready to get it in, get my little workout in in a few minutes. Um, just gotta get settled first. And once again, I want to thank her. I want to thank everybody that bought the book. Um, pretty soon, things are going to start picking up. Um, I'm in motion, you know, talking with the director. We got plots and plans and schemes. And uh, hopefully things will work out. So in the meantime, I'm behind the ground in Hollywood. This is something I want to say this to everybody. Even to my homie who we got into a slight disagreement on my Facebook because he said putting out the challenge to Will Smith and all those people wasn't practical. So what I want to say to him is you have to understand that that word doesn't exist in my world. Like impractical doesn't exist. Impractical is like saying it's impossible. And there's nothing that's really impossible. So to bring in that word into a situation 
where it was more about enough of this ice challenge, enough of the stars and their ice challenge. It was more about enough of the stars and their ice challenges. And, you know, a lot of them are just doing it and a lot of them don't even know why they're doing it. They're just doing it because a friend challenged them and then they challenge them. And then a lot of them come back and then make another video because they realize, oh, I was doing this for ALS. Well, <laughs> you know, say it in the video. Half of you don't even know why you're doing it. So I'm saying that while you spend the time pouring ice on yourself, you know, do something that's more personal. So I don't want you to give me information through a YouTube video. I don't want to see you telling me, well, uh, see what you do is like I did is you stay persistent and consistent and no, you know, come down, talk to a brother, you know, cause I live in your world. I'm in this, I live in California. I work with stars. I, you know, I'm actually one degree away from Mr. Smith. You understand what I'm saying? I'm actually, let's see. Nope, I'm actually a degree, a degree away from The Rock. Even Vin Diesel, I'm one degree away from these people. Tyrese, all of them. I'm one degree away from all these people. You coming out here? Wow. They loaded, look at that. So I'm saying, never bring negativity when somebody's trying to do something positive. Never tell somebody who's trying to be consistent and persistent and active in a positive goal that what they're doing is impractical. That's just, you know, it's unhealthy. No, I got it, baby. Don't worry about it. You got the baby. I got this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. You have to be always positive and always... Uh, always wait a minute, hold on. You have to always be about helping people on that journey. If you see somebody doing something really positive in their life and they're trying to make something happen, and you seeing the struggles that they're going through, never tell them shit is impractical. Never tell them it's impossible. Give them a solution. Don't tell me it's impractical. Bring your ass out here and try to get me a face-to-face -face meeting with Will Smith. You understand? Don't, don't ever bring negativity into a positive situation. Wow. You just got this. TV coming out. So. So. It is busy, busy, busy. <laughs> What's up, Miss Lady? <laughs> so you know, wait a minute. Why you got all these men and she carrying all the she carrying all the bags? There's something wrong with that picture. No one woman should be carrying all those bags. That's ridiculous. But that's life in LA, man. But anyway, gotta go work out. <laughs>